Hello, hello, this is Father Adam. Hello, hello, greeting all of you with a big smile, a kiss, and some good news that I know you can use in your own life. The worst class I took in the university was from this modernist, sophisticated, so-called sophisticated professor who thought he knew it all. He started off the class by saying, all of you come from small backgrounds with all your religion, with your small mindedness. And I am here, he said, to set you free. I am here to teach you. Because many of you, he said, still believe in the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, and Santa Claus. And I will set you free, he said. Well, at the end of the class, after I got my grade, of course, I went up to him and I said, Professor, you know, there's only one thing I learned from you. And that is to be and to do the opposite of what you are and what you do. And that's what I do to this very day. I try to teach all of you to believe again in Santa Claus, to believe once again in the Easter Bunny, to believe once again in the Tooth Fairy, because only when you enter that second naivete, that second childhood in your life, because Jesus calls us to be childlike, not childish, but childlike. And only when we enter that, when we become like little children who believe in Santa Claus, in the Easter Bunny, and in the Tooth Fairy, do we actually have a chance, a second chance, to be happy again in this life? We were happy once before when we were small little children who care for nothing because everything is taken care of for them. And we have to go back to that mindset. And that is the mindset that God is calling us to have, the mindset of a child who knows that the impossible once took place. God became conceived in the womb of a virgin, rose from the dead, healed the blind, and if once the impossible took place, it can take place again in our life. I'm trying to give you not some sophisticated faith, not some university faith, but the faith of my grandmother. That's what I try to give you. And that's what I'm calling you to have. I know it can take place because I walk by faith and not by sight.